Hello and welcome to another video on vectors and in this video we are going to look at adding and subtracting vectors. So I've got two vectors on the screen here, vectors A and vectors B which I've represented as column vectors. Now how would I add these two vectors together? So I'm going to show you two ways. The first way is the mathematical way and then I'm going to show you what that looks like um, with these arrows, how we add these arrows together. So when we're adding two column vectors together, basically what we do is we simply add the corresponding components. So if we take column vector A and then we add on column vector B and then we add on column vector B, well, the resulting vector will just be the sum of the corresponding components. So if we first of all add the horizontal components, four plus zero, that gives us four and one plus two, that gives us three. So this is our answer. Now the visual way of thinking about this is when we add two vectors together, we are just connecting the two vectors. So we're starting at vector A here and we're finishing here. So if we take vector B and move it and drag it to the end of vector A, like that, then the sum of the two vectors will just be from this point to this point here. So if we draw in a new line, so if we draw in a new vector like that, that is the resulting vector when we add these two vectors together. So this line in black would be the vector A plus B. And if we take a look at what the horizontal and vertical components are, we are going one, two, three, four to the right, which is this number here. And we're going up one, two, three, which is our vertical component here. So the next logical question would be, what is vector A minus vector B? Okay, so first of all, let's think about it just using the column vectors. And you probably guessed it, but if we are subtracting one vector from the other, we just subtract the corresponding components. So if we take vector A, and this time we're going to subtract vector B, and our answer would just be four minus zero, which is four for the horizontal component, and for the vertical component, one minus two, which is negative one. Now it's slightly harder to think about it visually when we're subtracting one vector from another, but let's give it a go anyway. So first of all, I'm just gonna copy out vector A. So I've got vector A here, and it's exactly the same as this vector. I've just moved, moved, moved the line, moved the arrow. Remember, the position doesn't matter with vectors. So let me just copy and paste vector B now. So copy and paste. I've got vector B here. Now, instead of attaching it like I did before when we added the two vectors together, notice I've got the tail of vector B attaching to the head of vector A. I'm going to attach the head of vector B to the head of vector A, just like that. OK, and let's just clean this up a bit. And notice we have formed a new vector which goes from here all the way down to here. And this is our answer. So when we subtract vector A from, or when we subtract vector B from vector A, we get this new vector here. So let's just add on the arrow, and this is A minus B. And again, let's just check what the column vector is. Let's check the horizontal and vertical components. So we're going one, two, three, four to the right. So it's positive four. And we're going down one, which is negative one. So we are correct. So whenever we are adding or subtracting vectors, we simply add or subtract the corresponding components. Okay, with all of that knowledge, I've now got some questions for you to have a go at. So what I'd like you to do is pause the video and see if you can answer these six questions. You've got five vectors, A, B, C, D, and E, and you've got six questions that involve calculations relating to these column vectors. Okay, let's go through this now. So we have vector A plus vector B. So if we take a look at vector A, we can see that vector A is three, zero. And we are going to add on vector B, which is two, seven. And now our answer, our resulting vector, well, we just need to add the corresponding components. So our horizontal component will be three plus two, which is five. And our vertical component will be zero plus seven, which is seven. So this here is our answer. OK, let's look at the next one. So we've got vector C, which is one and then four. And then we are going to add on vector D, which is negative four, three. 
So our resulting vector, our horizontal component will be one subtract four, which is negative three. And then our vertical component will be four plus three, which is seven. Okay, question three, we have vector B, and then we are going to add on vector E, which is over here. And our resulting vector will be two plus, or sorry, two subtract one, which is one, and then seven subtract two, which is five. Okay, let's move on to the subtractions now. So question four, we have vector B, and we are going to subtract vector C. So this time we are going to subtract the corresponding components. So two subtract one, or well that is one, and seven subtract four is three. Okay, moving on to question five. We have vector D, and we are going to subtract vector A, which is over here. So our answer will be negative four subtract three, which is negative seven, and then three subtract zero is three. Okay, the last one. Now with this last one, we need to be a bit careful. So first of all, we've got vector C, and we are going to subtract vector E. So our resulting vector will be one subtract negative one. Now that is one plus one, which is two. So be really careful when we're subtracting a negative number, that is the same as adding. So our vertical component will be four subtract negative two. Well, that's the same as four plus two, which is six. So this is our answer. So that was the last question in this video on adding and subtracting vectors. But I'm going to do one more video which involves some slightly trickier sums um, and a bit of problem solving. So hopefully you'll join me for that video. And thanks for watching. Take care.